I'm curious. The very hot supplement that everyone's talking about is turkesterone. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, Mark Lobliner was here yesterday and he kind of talked about how turkesterone's kind of bullshit. It's been here. It was apparently here in the 80s. It's been around, yeah. And it cycles, and then it comes back under something mm -hmm. else and it comes back. So, what's the deal with turkesterone? Because a lot of people are selling turk products, but. Some people just say it's actually just kind of useless. And then we did have Greg on the podcast uh, and he said it has drug like effects. So, you know, what, what's the deal? So there was like, I think I told you guys off air, there were most of the studies were in the sixties and seventies and from Russia. And so it's very hard to find the actual paper <laughs> from Russia, but I okay. did find a paper in Reddit that compared it to D ball. And yeah, that's what Greg said. Yeah. And it showed that its anabolic activity is real. Now, w whether it's, I don't believe it's binding. It, well, sorry, it does have an affinity to the androgen receptor, but it doesn't have the same effect as you know other synthetic agents. But the turkesterone is in a blend. Like so, my product has ten percent standardized for ten percent turkesterone, but there's also other actives in there that work. And so that it's a combination of all of the things working together synergistically mm -hmm. um, because they don't, you can't just get turkesterone. You'd have to have somebody like a chemist make it synthetically. Mm. And then mm. this is pure turkesterone and they don't, they don't have that on the market. I believe 10% is the highest that they make. Cause when I was looking for it, that's all I could find. Mm -hmm. And I know um, Dante's product uses the 10% one as well. And then there, and like I said, there's other actives in there that are responsible for anabolic activity as well. Yeah. So it, like, I'm guessing, you know, you, you have it in your product. Do you think it's, cause a lot of guys are like trying to sh like sweep the shelves for turkesterone. You know what I mean? Um, is it as useful as a lot of people are trying to tout that it is? Is it something that like, you really got to get your hands on some Turk? <laughs> From a personal standpoint, and we talked about this on there, I, uh, Dante sent me some to try when initially when I said, hey, I'm, I'm coming off testosterone, we're trying to have a baby. I don't want to lose as much mass. He sent, he personally sent me his product to try mm -hmm. and he's like, take this much uh, every day and it should help preserve your lean muscle. And that's strictly through, you know, the way that it increases the anabolic activity and protein synthesis. Now, is it something that is, it's not like a SARM or anything, like it's not a drug that's going to be super strong. And like I said, there's only, 10% of it is the highest I think you can get. Mm -hmm. But from my personal experience taking that, and then I also took a liposomal version of it. And for those of you listening who don't know what a liposome is, it basically is a water soluble compound on the outside and fat soluble on the inside. So the compounds like turkesterone, which are fat soluble, go on the inside, and then you have an enzyme called lysase that breaks it open, and then you get the turkesterone out where it's supposed to go. It's like a liquid, right? Um, no, they make, well, you can have liquid, but they okay. make a, a a pill. Okay. Based off of, uh, what is it? Phosphatidyl choline, I believe. Um, but so I used both of those. And for me, who was going to be rapidly losing size, I felt that it at the time helped me keep some of that size. And when I went to the gym it, versus not taking it. So I do think it has a positive effect. Mm -hmm. It's not andro or anything like that, I wouldn't make that comparison. But if you're looking to be a natural athlete and something that can help keep muscle mass on you or, or possibly gain muscle mass if you're eating the right way and dieting and training, then I think it does work. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you peak content on this channel. Obviously, you guys are here. You guys have watched the whole video. So like, comment, subscribe. All right. See you later.